Hey guys, today we're talking about dusting. Now traditionally I've used these kind of dusters where you have to take this off once it gets all old and dirty like this and refill it with a new one. Now what that does is just adds to our horribly accumulating landfills. This duster is really inefficient. It really just sweeps away the dust and moves it somewhere else instead of actually collecting it. Also, I usually have to climb up on a chair or a table, which is not really safe to reach the higher points of my home to do my dusting. Rebecca has a cleaning tip for us now. So one cleaning tip is to always start from top to bottom when you're cleaning. So you want to dust all the fans, light fixtures, paintings, anything on the wall, and this way you're moving all the dust and the dirt particles from the top towards the bottom so that you're getting everything cleaned out. And Norwex has the solution for reaching those hard to reach places by using their Enviro wand. All the dust will stick to this and when we clean this ceiling fan it won't fall on our heads. This wand actually can bend into any shape that you need it to go into and then it can bend back. It reaches high places and then if you need to reach higher than that, you don't need to get a ladder or a chair. We can actually take this handle off the Norwex mop and put it on the Enviro wand to reach all the hard to reach high places. And to do our daily dusting, we have this handy little dusting mitt that is static electricity charged. <laughs> you say that, it's funny. You just rub it together and then all the dust when you wipe the area will stick right to the mitt and won't go everywhere. You don't need to use um, furniture polish. Because actually, the, once you put furniture polish on and dust it, then eventually all the dust particles will just stick to that furniture polish and actually make it dirtier faster. And so as you don't need any polish whatsoever, you just clean dust with this cloth. And then if you have two of them, you can go twice as fast and you can just rub them together to get them all charged and ready to go. And these also come in children's sizes, so you can have your little friends help you, and much faster. Plus they're also super stylish. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to demonstrate how we can use these in this kitchen. Alright, Anna, do you want to clean the fans? Absolutely. Show me how it's done. So how do I get this clean? So, it's what this little rubber brush is for. If you want to get the dust off your wand, you come over to the trash can and you just use this and you brush all the dirt and dust right into the trash. And then it's ready to be reused. Alright, so Rebecca and I are going to show you how to use these dusty mitts. washed and dried. 
The thing with any of our microfibers, you cannot wash it with bleach or fabric softener or use it with dryer sheets because that will just coat the ends of the microfibers and not make it as effective. So you never want to wash it with linty stuff either. Don't wash it with a load of towels because it will just collect all the lint. And microfiber is lint free. So you want to be careful not to wash it with linty stuff, no bleach, and no fabric stuff. Thank you so much for being with us today to dust.